Hi, my name is Billy Kinder, host of Big Billy Kinder Outdoors Radio, heard coast to coast on great radio stations all across America. On behalf of Alpine Shooting Range owners and staff, I would like to thank you for being a valued Alpine customer. During this video, we'll cover firearm safety, range fees and passes, range procedures and commands, and open carry procedures. Firearm safety. The first rule of firearm safety is always keep your barrel pointed in a safe direction. Here at Alpine, because of our concrete floors, it's best to keep your firearm pointed down range or up at all times. An accidental discharge into the concrete could cause a ricochet and possible injury. Never point your firearm at other people. All firearms must enter and exit the range unloaded with the action open and the magazine out. If you're unsure if your firearm is unloaded, wait for a range safety officer to assist you. Please do not attempt to unload your firearm on your own. When shooting your firearm, be sure that your ammunition matches the caliber marked on your firearm. No full metal jacket ammo is allowed to be used with any center fire rifle cartridges. Full metal jacket handgun ammo is permitted. Every person on the range is required to wear ear and eye protection at all times. Corrective lenses or sunglasses are acceptable for eye protection. If you don't have eye or ear protection, it's available for purchase in Alpine store. Range passes. Please remember that everyone going into the range must pay a range pass. No exceptions. Discounted senior, child, active duty military, and law enforcement rates are available upon request. Everyone who purchases a range fee will receive one stamped bullseye target. You'll find a set of range rules printed in English and in Spanish on your target. You are allowed to use your own paper targets or purchase additional targets in the gun store. When entering the range, the range safety officer will check to make sure each person being admitted into the range has a bullseye target with the correct date stamped on it. After this process is complete, you'll be ready to enter the range. If you are unfamiliar with the range, let the RSO know. Range Commands When entering the range, you'll find it in one of two conditions. It will either be hot or cold. Wait for the RSO's instructions on what to do during the hot or cold state that the range is currently in. During a cold range, you are allowed to go down range to hang your targets. Thumbtacks are provided to hang targets or you may use a staple gun or tape. If you're shooting on one of our pistol ranges, you may, at this time, place the target board at your desired distance. It is always a good idea to hang your target at or right below eye level. A tall shooter who attaches their target low on the target board is in danger of hitting the concrete floor. A shooter smaller in stature who attaches their target high on the target board is in danger of hitting the baffles. Please position your target so that the projectile will impact the dirt berm. If you are not going downrange, you must remain behind the yellow line until the RSO says otherwise. New shooters approaching a cold range may not place their guns on the shooting tables. Gun racks are provided to place your guns so you can go down range to hang your target. During a hot range, you may approach the shooting bench to continue shooting or to get your firearms out and begin shooting. If your firearm is not pointed down range when removing it from the case, Readjust the case so that it is pointed downrange, and then remove your gun. You may shoot at your own leisure during a hot range, but keep in mind that Alpine's rate of fire is one shot per second. Your pistol may remain in its holster while you're here at Alpine. If you plan to shoot your carry pistol, once it is removed from its holster, it becomes like any other range firearm. It must remain unloaded except during a hot range. Alpine does not allow drawing and firing from the holster. The firearm will remain that way until you return to your vehicle. You must unholster your pistol in such a way that you do not point it at anyone. 
reholstering on the range is not permitted. No firearms may be carried down range for any reason. Our steel range. On the steel range, you may use non-magnum caliber handguns to shoot reactive steel targets. Rimfire handguns and rifles and centerfire rifles are not permitted on the steel range. Once on the steel range, you'll notice that the benches and the targets are color-coded. You must shoot the set of targets that matches the color of your bench, red to red, blue to blue, and black to black. There is no rate of fire restriction on the steel range. The steel range requires a separate fee. In review, always keep your firearm pointed up or down range. Do not point your firearm at anyone under any circumstance. Eye and ear protection is required at all times. Pay attention to and follow the instructions the RSOs give. You may only approach the shooting benches and shoot your firearm during a hot range. Remain behind the yellow line and do not mess with firearms and do not approach the shooting bench during a cold range. Concealed and open carry is permitted. Once a holstered firearm is unholstered, it may not be reholstered until you return to your vehicle. Everyone entering the range must pay a range fee. Alpine Range is a privately owned facility open to the public for a fee. No one under the influence of alcohol, prescribed or recreational narcotics is permitted on the range. Everyone entering the range should have basic knowledge of firearms and firearm safety, such as those found on the NRA website. Alpine Industries nor its owners are responsible for accidents. On behalf of Alpine Shooting Range owners and staff, I would like to thank you for being a valued Alpine customer.